Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus Review The Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus stands between the comparatively inexpensive, diminutive S22 and the feature-filled S22 Ultra. Despite its powerful processor, photography modes, and attractive design, it may not receive much appreciation due to its costly price tag. Furthermore, its uncomfortable design shape and lagging software create a poor user experience which makes it much less appealing than its rivals. We are in awe of how the phone looks with such a variety of colors. White, black, green, pink, gray, cream, pale blue and violet give you endless options when it comes to choosing the ideal shade. The unique and stylish contour cut camera bump really makes the phone stand out among all others. Using the phone exposes its uncomfortable nature, thanks to its sheer size, your palm is likely to become quite stretched. Additionally, its slight curve is slightly less sharp than the iPhone 13's completely flat edge, yet it still causes some discomfort when you're using it. Aside from that, this is an ordinary Android device. It features a USB-C port and no 3.5mm headphone jack. The power switch and the volume rocker are situated on the right side of the phone which makes them readily accessible when you're using it with one hand. The S22 Plus is undoubtedly larger, measuring 157.4 by 75.8 by 7.6 mm, but this is to be expected based on its name. It does not feel too cumbersome at 195 grams. The S21 Plus and this device differ in the material used for their construction The S21 is mainly made of plastic. While this one utilizes Corning Gorilla Glass Victus Plus, providing top-notch protection against scratches, plus IP68 certification that shields it from water submersion. The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is still the industry leader in terms of its stunning display, while the S22 Plus may not quite live up to that standard. The 6.6-inch screen is 0.1 inches smaller than the S21 Plus's and has a tiny punch hole cutout for the front camera, with minimal bezel framing it. The S22 Plus has an Full HD Dot Plus resolution of 1080 by 2340, which is the same resolution as most Android phones besides super cheap or expensive models. Unfortunately, despite its cost, it doesn't quite live up to that level. The Ultra offers a 1440 by 3088 resolution screen, which we would have liked to see here. Full HD Dot Plus is adequate for most activities since only certain streaming services or video games provide content of a resolution greater than that anyhow. Moreover, the refresh rate of 120Hz makes fluid transitions between menus or when playing games. The S22 Plus's average resolution is offset by its ultra high max brightness of 1750 nits and AMOLED screen for excellent contrast. The Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus has the same camera setup as the regular version. A 50MP f/1.8 main lens, 12MP f/2.2 ultra wide plus 10MP f/2.4 telephoto for 3x optical zoom on the rear, and a 10MP f/2.2 front facing shooter on the front. The S21's camera system has been remixed, with the same ultra-wide and front facers but an impressive jump from a 12MP to 50MP main camera. The 50MP sensor is an especially beneficial upgrade, as it captures more light than smaller sensors. This effect can be seen in all types of photography, especially in low-light settings. Thanks to this, nighttime shots appear brighter and more vibrant, whereas daytime snaps really make the colors pop out. The S22 Plus lacks the camera flexibility of the Ultra, and its max digital zoom is only 30x. Careful inspection revealed minor distortion in ultra-wide shots, but it was not conspicuous. Although the 10MP front-facing camera may not sound very impressive, it produced great images with vivid colors and sharp details. Notably, portrait mode effectively balanced light exposure, enabling one to take flawless selfies even in significantly bright backgrounds. Video recording capabilities up to 8K are available, though there's no clear rationale for why it would be beneficial for an average user to employ. There is also 4K recording at up to 60fps, and using a lower resolution than 8K allows for image smoothing and stabilization. Samsung's single take, found here, is an awesome way of allowing AI to take the load off when capturing a photo. With it, you can record a video of the subject and the camera will choose its best still shot and automatically edit it for you. This device contains 8GB of RAM, which should meet the needs of most smartphone users. Plus, there are two storage options available, 128GB or 256GB although unfortunately, there is no expandable storage. Therefore, it's important to weigh your options carefully or make use of cloud storage instead.
The Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus includes Android 12, overlaid with Samsung's One UI.